G'day guys, John for the hot end. This is the mighty Ender 3. Is it really that good? Let's have a look. We're back. This is the Ender 3 made by Creality. As you know, Creality do the CR10 series, which is a great series of printers. They also have the Ender series. The Ender 2 we've already reviewed. This is the Ender 3. This is a RepRap style printer. It is an FDM printer, like all of their printers are in the CR10 and Ender series. It has a Bowden extruder system. It has an MK10 extruder, as distinct from the MK8, I think, on the CR10s. It runs on V-slot wheels in the aluminium extruded frame. It also uses GT2 belts. It has a beautiful heated bed. It is a 24 volt system, so the bed can heat up nice and fast. We'll talk about that later. It has these massive wheels for get leveling the bed, so you don't have to worry about those fiddly little knobs that we've seen before. It has an on-off switch, which controls the power supply and the printer all in one. It also has the built-in power fail feature, so you can restart a print if you lose power. It comes with a 0.4 nozzle and will print down to a 0.1 millimeter layer height. It will print at over 100 millimeters a second, which is Fast. The build volume on this printer is a 220 by 220 by 250, which is a really good general purpose type size for a build volume. The heated bed, which I mentioned is 24 volt, will heat to 110 degrees C really quickly. It'll get up to the 110 in around about five minutes, which is really, really good if you really need that sort of temperature and it has a single lead screw, which is a proper trapezoid four start lead screw, uh, and it does the job really well. It's nicely aligned and works fantastic. This printer will print PLA, of course. It also prints PETG beautifully, which I've done. They say it will print ABS, which it will, and I did try ABS on this machine, the problem I had was I didn't have an enclosure for it, so I was getting layer separation. So I won't show you those prints because they're pretty nasty. But it will print ABS. The building of this printer was really easy. It came with some instructions, which is basically one sheet like that with good pictures and good directions as far as which parts go where. I was able to build the whole printer just using this in less than an hour because a lot of the parts are pre-assembled. Not quite as many as some of the others, like the, the CR10 Mini and such, where it's just a matter of screwing the gantry on. This one has a few more things that you've got to put together, hence it takes a bit longer, but still really easy. Someone that's never seen a 3D printer before could put this together. There is a backup though if you get stuck on the micro SD card that comes in this packet of goodies is a more detailed build manual so you'll never run into trouble putting this together. It's a simple, simple build. Everything fits where it's supposed to. The screws are all the right sizes. The holes all line up perfectly. The squareness of the bed and the frame all just occur naturally because everything fits where it should. It's a really, really nice build. Now, as I said, there was a packet of goodies in there. You'll get a spare nozzle, two of these PTFE connectors. You get all the tools you'll need to build it. You'll get the micro SD card, as I said. You'll get a reader adapter for the card. You get spanners. And a little disconcertingly, you get a heap of spare nuts and bolts. So don't be worried when you finish the build. Uh, there are a heap of spare nuts and bolts, and some of them you have no idea what they'd even be for. But anyway, they're in there. You also get a 0.4 nozzle cleaner, which is very handy. But wait! 
There's more. You also get one of these. In the over two weeks that we've been using this machine, I started to get a little bit of under extruding through the extruder. There is a very, very easy fix for that issue, which I have done on this Ender 3 and have printed perfectly since then. Likes and dislikes for this Ender 3 by Creality. I'll do the dislikes first. The Z end stop has to be modified slightly. You can't get the nozzle down low enough, there's enough. The Z end stop won't go down far enough. You just nip that little bud off and then it becomes totally movable and you can fix that problem. So it's not a big deal, but yeah, that lug shouldn't be on there. What do I like? Well, where do I start? I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. This is a long list of what I like. I love the heated bed. It was very flat, it was true, and it heats up really, really fast. It comes with a build tack type surface on it, which I have found bed adhesion to be, if anything, too good. I really have to struggle sometimes to get the prints off the bed. The adhesion is fantastic on this build surface. I really like the big nuts. It makes bed leveling really, really easy. I like the fact that it's got the power fail feature, which does work, I've tested it. I like the fact that it's 24 volt, gives you so much more grunt. I like the fact that it is solid and square straight out of the box. Everything went together really simply. And last but not least, what I really, really love is the quality of the prints that it puts out. It is fantastic as far as print quality goes. And of course, I like the price of this machine. You could not get a better printer, a more bang for your buck printer, than the Ender 3 for the flash sale price that it's going for at the moment, which is 210 US dollars. So in conclusion on this printer, this Ender 3 by Creality, I really like this printer. Go out and buy one. It is a wonderful printer, especially for the price. And I would give it an eight and a half, maybe, maybe even a nine out of 10 for overall usefulness. That's all I've got for you. See you next time.